He was a German missionary, explorer, linguist, and traveler in East Africa. He played an important role in exploring and documenting East Africa alongside Johannes Redman. They were the first Europeans to see Mount Kenya and Kilimanjaro. Known as Johann Ludwig Krapf, he made significant contributions in translating the New Testament to the Kamba language and exploring the East African coastline. In the annals of history, there are figures whose indomitable spirit and thirst for discovery have forever changed the course of human knowledge and understanding. One such luminary was Johann Ludwig Krapf, a German missionary, explorer, linguist, and traveler, who made significant contributions to the exploration of East Africa. Born on January 11, 1810, in Tübingen, Germany, Krapf's fascination with the uncharted territories of East Africa began in the mid-19th century. In 1844, Krapf embarked on a remarkable journey to East Africa, where he would leave an indelible mark on the world. Teaming up with Johannes Rebmann, another pioneering explorer, the duo embarked on a mission to unravel the mysteries of this vast and unexplored region. Together, they ventured into the heart of East Africa, seeking to uncover its hidden wonders. It was during their expeditions that Krapf and Redmond achieved a significant milestone, becoming the first Europeans to lay eyes upon the majestic Mount Kenya. With the invaluable assistance of the Akamba people, who resided at the slopes of this breathtaking mountain, the duo made history as they gazed upon its awe-inspiring beauty. But their thirst for discovery did not end there. Krapf and Redmond, driven by their insatiable curiosity, also set their sights upon the towering peak of Kilimanjaro. With the aid of local guides and their unwavering determination, they became the first Europeans to witness the grandeur of this iconic landmark. Krapf's explorations extended beyond the mountains, as he played a pivotal role in uncovering the treasures of East Africa's coastline. His expeditions along the shores of East Africa, particularly in the city of Mombasa, allowed him to gain invaluable knowledge about the region's cultural and historical significance. In addition to his exploration endeavors, Krapf also dedicated himself to linguistic pursuits. During his travels, he immersed himself in the languages of the local tribes, seeking to bridge the gap between cultures. His dedication and linguistic prowess led him to successfully translate the New Testament into the Kamba language, leaving a lasting impact on the local communities. Johann Ludwig Krapf's expeditions have had a profound impact on the world, transcending borders and inspiring the hearts of adventurers everywhere. As we reflect upon the exploration of East Africa, we are reminded of a man whose name stands tall among history's great explorers, Johann Ludwig Krapf, a visionary whose legacy continues to ignite the flames of curiosity and courage in all who dare to dream. Johann Ludwig Krapf, born into a Lutheran family of farmers in southwest Germany, showed an early aptitude for languages. He excelled in Latin, Greek, French, and Italian during his school days. After completing his education, Krapf joined the Basel Mission Seminary at the age of 17. However, he soon began to question his missionary calling and decided to discontinue his studies. Seeking guidance, he enrolled at the University of Tübingen to study theology, graduating in 1834. While working as an assistant village pastor, Krapf crossed paths with a Basel missionary named Peter Fjellstedt. Fjellstedt recognized Krapf's potential and encouraged him to reconsider his missionary vocation. Inspired by Fjellstedt's words, Krapf reignited his passion for spreading the gospel and embraced his calling once again. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.